Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have seen how to parse the request body and also how to write these all the incoming requests, how to uh, redirect the uh, particular to the particular path, how to move this one routing thing we have seen it. Now fine, this is somewhat is looking fine. But here if writing if you are having so many routings, so writing here it looks something like a cumbersome. So it is better for us if you separate these all the routes into a separate file. So this one in the express we can do it using the express dot router. So this is available in the express js framework. So let's try to see how we can diff, uh, how we can separate these all the routings into a separate file. Now here I am creating a new folder routes so that we can have a clear differentiation. So this folder handles all the routing related. Now here I am creating another new file, something like admin.js. So I am creating one file that is nothing but admin.js. Now here I will create, so I am having here constant express is equal to require of express. So you can use it wherever you want it, it's not a problem. So wherever you want to require this express, you can use it. Now here we can declare constant router is equal to router is equal to so express dot router so here you'll be having a method express dot router and we need to export this router and now let's say that so here in the admin.js slowly here we are having slash user slash user slash add slash user slash add like this we are having right so we can divide this all the we can take this all the routes and you can place it here in this one that's it so here we don't have an app right so this is the router so this one we need to paste it here so router works with the router.get router.post put delete these are all the things will work with the this router.get now that's it so this is how we can divide it using the express.router we can divide it now let's try to divide these things also so here we are having an home page right uh, this is a middleware which executes for every incoming request let's try to remove this one all so here also i will try to remove it so that we can keep it the file very clean and here I am creating another file that is nothing but home.js the same thing so how many files you want to make it the routes you can make it here I am creating constant express is equal to require of express and constant router is equal to express dot router so this should be a method and here we can export this one router sorry router that's it now here in this one in the middle i can paste whatever the things i want so here you can paste it router.get that's it <clears throat> so we have divided all the routes into a separate file so how many files you want to create it you can create it now i want to use this routes into this file so how can i use it first let's try to import the routes so here constant admin routes i will import it so require so it should be present in the routes slash admin in the same scenario we are having constant home routes you can keep it whatever the things you want the name is the name doesn't matter so here i am using admin sorry not admin routes routes slash home that's it so these are the two routes we are having so after when we have initialized this one and after the when the body is parsed the request body is parsed here you can use app dot use and here i can use admin routes that's it and also here i can use the home routes that's it finished so this is how we can divide the admin route so here with the home we are having the home routes and the admin we are having the admin routes now if you try to see the output so let's try so this one is working and here if i if you try to see home page is working fine and here you are having users is working fine and user slash add is also working fine so these are all the things are working fine so if i try to click on user so here you are able to get the output so all the routes are working fine now for example let's say that so here we are having slash users let's say that we are having slash user slash add slash user slash add so now users is the list it will show the list of all the users add means it will uh, it will show you the add form user add form and this is a post user add form 
so that it will take the request body and it will do the necessary logic where the one if you try to observe here all the routes are having a prefix something like slash user slash user slash users like that right so we can remove these all the things directly if you want so why because these are all common and what you can do is so these are related to admin.js and you can go it here and here you can add the prefix here slash users slash now whatever the routes that are coming from here so user slash add user slash like that so chain routing like that you can have it so like this also you can mention it now if you try to observe the output so now also it will work now this time so you can have slash users slash add so it will work so if you try to submit it so it will try to submit it slash users it will work now if you try to do something like slash user slash add so now this one will not work why because cannot get user why because we are having user slash add we have changed the routing now we we are we are able to see that cannot get user slash add we are getting so that means this is this page is not existing so how can we do this custom 404 page so we need to show something like the page cannot be found like that we need to show some message how can we show, show that message is so we know that in this app.js so these all the things are executing so here you can write in such a way that app.use okay so that can be get request or anything get request or post request or anything and here i can use something like request response and a next thing so if you want you can add the next thing so here i can do response dot send and here i can write that h1 page not found i can show that page not found so let's try to see the output so now these all the routes doesn't match here so these all the routes doesn't match it will go to this middleware and here it will take all the uh, all the remaining routing so all the routing it will go pass into this one as this one is a general middleware and it will try to show you the html page that page not found if you try to see the message here so here we will be having slash user now here we are able to see the page not found but if you try to see here this page actually doesn't exist with our thing and it is trying to show, show the status 200 okay but here we need to show the status of 404 so what can we do is here so here we can change the methods so i can add a status and what is the status i want to do so 404 so if you want you can also use for this one also set header and all those things also you can use it like a chaining methods so here i can use status of 404 page not found if you try to see the same output if i try to refresh this one see here this time i am getting a status 404 not found so this this has some meaningful instead of having 200 okay so like this we can have a middleware here so we are using app.use so that for get and post request anything any type of request it will work so here this is the home routes now we know that so this home routes has a this home routes has a home page slash means slash you know that now if i try to place it at the top so what will happen so whether it will work or not let's try to see it. so if you try to see here so page not found is working and if i try to use user slash add so this one is also working so as intended everything is working as intended but here we have placed this home root at the top so previously if you place this home root at the top so all the routing series redirected to this home page only but here if you use this router.get instead of router.use so if you use this router.get so the routing will try to match the exact matching it will try to check with the exact matching so if you try to use this use means it will it will check the regular expression pattern something like that now if you try to use the thing so if you try to see it is a home page slash user slash add is also a home page anything is a home page so it will go to home page only so because of that reason so we will be using this get so now there is no need for the order of mentioning the home notes you can place it at the top or you can place it at the top the bottom so wherever you want you can place it so get post and put these all the requests match for the exact match you are so this is one benefit for us so you can use this router.get and all those things like this we can use it so this is how we can divide the routing files using express router so this is the main importance of this express router we have used this express router and we have divided this express router this gives the modularity of the routing files if you go into this one and here if you try to learn it in the express.js let's try to open express.js 
and here I'm opening the ExpressJS. If you go to the guide and routing, so here first itself we are able to see the routing, and these are all the different route methods we are having. So route dot app dot all means all things it will match it. So here you'll be having so different types of routing what we can do, and here modularity response methods. So express dot router. So this is the express dot router. Using this express router to create modularity mountainable route handlers. So this is how you can do it. So here you can have some examples. Hope you understood about this express router. How to divide the routes into a separate files. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.